in this tutorial, I'm going to uh, illustrate how we can create an uh, artificial depth of field uh, using two images. Um, I've got a picture of a road, and I've got a picture of a hot dog that I took. And um, by the way, when I ev just after I took this hot dog I, uh, in the living room on my coffee table, I came into the computer room to to work on it. And when I went back out to the living room, the hot dog was gone. I found out my dog ate it. So, anyway, moving on. The first thing I think, uh, what, what, um, what I'm going to attempt here is to uh, give the illusion that this hot dog is laying right in the foreground, right at the bottom of this image on the road. And um, I'll let you be the judge to see how successful I'm able to uh, accomplish that illusion. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is move the layer palette out of the way. I'm going to resize this uh, by a hot dog by holding down Control T for bring up the free transform tool, and I'm going to transform that to a workable size. I don't say it's the final size. I just say it's a workable size. It was way too big to the way it was. Okay. And hit enter to do that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a duplicate layer of the hot dog. Holding down control J. And we created a duplicate layer. Now I'll go back to the original hot dog layer below it. And holding down my shift key and all key with the color black as my uh, foreground color, I'll hit the backspace and watch what happens to the hot dog layer in the icon uh, uh, layer icon. Uh, there, there it is, right there. That's it. It just turned black. And the reason I did that is I want to create uh, the illusion of of a uh, drop shadow. And I've got my move tool, and I can move this now down to just about where I think a drop shadow w would uh, look good. I don't have to be exact just so uh, just right now. Um, that looks good, uh, you know, somewhere thereabouts. Uh, and next thing I'm going to do is uh, we're going to use the blur tool a lot in this tutorial. Gaussian blur. And I've got for this here yeah, that looks good right there. Okay, and now I'm going to drop the opacity a little, and that looks good there. I'm going to zoom in a little on this image here. Now, to 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 create the illusion of a drop shadow realistically. Uh, if this hot dog were actually laying on the road, it would be a lot darker where the hot dog actually meets the road. So I'm going to create that illusion by creating a, a, a new layer between the uh, hot dog and the, and the drop shadow layer. Now I'm going to choose uh, my brush tool. And I'm going to go up here into this uh, menu, uh, and I'm going to choose, uh, where is it, behind, right here. Okay, with black as my foreground color, let me move the layers palette out of the way. And I've got it set to behind. I'm going to paint a rough, irregular drop shadow right there. Okay. Now, again, we're going to go into the blur, Gaussian blur. And maybe that looks good right there. And drop the opacity just slightly, just slightly right there looks good. Okay. Now I'll zoom back out and see what we got. Okay. Okay. Well, I think that hot dog's a little too big, but next thing I need to do is make a duplicate copy of the uh, road image. I'll hit Control J and 
that made a duplicate copy of the road. All right, now I, what I want to do is go into quick mask because I'm going to use a blurring technique on this. So I'm going to hit Q for to bring me into the uh, quick mask mode. Then I'm going to, uh, with black as my foreground and white as my background, I'm going to go into the gradient and I'm going to use the back foreground to background and I'm going to come up here at, to the, near the top and holding down the shift key go straight down. <clears throat> okay, I'll hit Q to come back out of the quick mask mode. Okay, I need to inverse this selection by holding down Control, Shift, and the letter I. And now again, we go into blur. We're using blur a lot. Goes in blur. And now, looking at the image, let's see we can adjust this here. And that looks good right there. And I'll deselect. Okay. Now, addressing the size of the hot dog. Well, that's a uh, judgment call, but if I'm going to do that, I need to click on all three layers and the hot dog and the two drop shadows. Hit Control T and let's reposition this and maybe that would be a little smaller. I don't know. You experiment. You can do anything you want. This is just a, to give you an idea about what you can do and Let's see, would it look good right there? I think it would look good right there. And even just a little bit of the hot dog going out of the frame. Just to make it look a little bit more realistic. So, alright. So there we got the depth of field and the hot dog. And this is what we started with. And that's what we ended up with. Okay, thank you.